Field just dropped the tweet filth around the world. So, if y'all don't know, y'all probably do. But I'm going to tell y'all anyway. News came out. Sony went to Wall Street Journal. And they were talking about the acquisition. Xbox getting Activision. Microsoft building an actual unit of gaming for their corporation. And Sony was like, yeah, but we, we expect Microsoft to, you know, keep our con contractual agreements all together and, uh, you know, keep those games multi-platform. And we like, did Sony really just, really just come out and say some shit like that, bro? We like, I hope they keep the games multi-platform. Really? Sony and Active Entertainment said that, bro. The king of exclusive content really said that. It was crazy. It was crazy. It didn't feel came on Twitter like hey I talked to some Sony and uh we we plan to honor those existing agreements we're not about to cut y'all off like that and <laughs> it has the internet going fucking crazy bro because everybody's reading this and they get a different thing from it. See I said this when when the when the the acquisition first came out to light everybody was talking about it I dropped the video my comment section was going crazy calling me like ain't no way they they doing this and doing that i'm like bro just think about it activision built call of duty to be something crazy and now that they got warzone connecting it all everybody's playing on the same server base i'm like it's no reason for xbox to destroy that and they were like no they gonna make it exclusive like everything else and i'm like they could they could make campaigns for call of duty exclusive but to to destroy warzone that's making how much money just monthly there's no way there's no way you look at that and be like i want to do that like it could be a good idea it could be a bad idea you have to make that choice but there's no reason to destroy call of duty on the sony platform when this is not about hurting sony and that's why he put this on there. Like, he don't care what Sony gets and what Sony doesn't get. It's not about getting X Xbox exclusive content. It's about saving the gaming industry from the real problem, which is people that don't game. And that's Google, that's Amazon, that's Tencent. People that don't game, bro. Facebook is building a metaverse for, like, gaming and shit. Facebook, you make social statuses, bro. Google makes search engines. Amazon sells shit to people. None of them are in gaming, bro. But now they all buying gaming studios. Like Tencent is in mobile gaming, but now they're buying actual gaming studios. And this and it's getting wild out here. And Sony, they're they're doing the best with what the fuck they got. That's why they bought some more studios. You know, they're making in-house content. And Microsoft's like, hey, we can't we can't just let these people come in here and start buying shit because they got the money for it bro because like <laughs> nobody's gonna stop them because when microsoft like they said like phil said they're in third place bro so them buying this is all right but imagine if amazon bought activision what the fuck are you playing call of duty on some random ass amazon browser that pops up on your pc like who the fuck like what the fuck are you gonna do? Amazon's definitely gonna lock that bitch behind a paywall that nobody else has, bro. What if Tencent bought it? They're in China. What the fuck are they gonna do with Activision? They have the money for it. They could buy that bitch any day. Imagine Google bought it and just slap Call of Duty on Stadia every fucking year. You have to go get Stadia to play Call of Duty. Really? Like come on now, bro. Come on now. Microsoft is trying to protect the gaming industry. They're still fanboys out here talking Monopoly. Talking all kind of crazy shit. You can play more games that Xbox have on more different places than you can on PlayStation. PlayStation, you can play them games in one place. PlayStation. Sometimes on PC if they feel like it. Like, come on now, bro. Microsoft is expanding gaming every fucking world. Giving gaming to everybody. And they're talking about Microsoft the Monopoly. <laughs> but as well, though. Because when I read this, what I saw is exactly what he said about the Bethesda thing. Like, they have contracts, we're honoring those. Any plans we make in the future ain't got shit to do with y'all. But for, for the here and now, because this deal is going to be 
working itself around the world through courts and through different uh internments of validating legal shit and it's going to take a while so by the time that happens there's contracts and games and all kinds of shit that's going to come out and they're going to honor all of that but after they're going to have to wait and see and that's what makes sense to me when this comes out some people read this and like call of duty stand on playstation forever i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't say forever because microsoft could easily drop some warzone updates every fucking month like call of duty's been doing or every two or three months because they they haven't been working on the game they've been on strike so they could drop updates on warzone and just let y'all have that and be like call of duty still on playstation or they can drop actual call of duty games campaigns and multiplayers and all and give them to playstation and make that money for it while we plan it in game pass those are all all options but which one of those is phil talking about only phil knows so like <laughs> he can't really say more than this until the deal's done that mean a year from now he can really say what he want to do with these with these studios with these with these uh call of duty games but we can't see we can't see he can't even say it right now Legally, he can't say it right now. So this right here, perfect PR. Everybody loves it. Some people's like, "Whew, I'm gonna stop sweating now because we ain't losing Call of Duty on PlayStation." But you don't know that, bro. A year from today, when this deal is done, we'll know the real answer, bro. But that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe. If you're new. I gotta go play Rainbow Six Quarantine. It's not called Quarantine, is it? extraction <laughs> rainbow six extraction in the cloud for the channel so thank y'all for watching like subscribe if you're new and i'll see y'all in the next video